it's really amazing to be here. I, I've never put this together before tonight, um, but my father talked so much about William Patterson and was very, uh, just really believed in this university. I think it was a college, it might have been a college still at the time. And, um, and he and Arnold, Arnold Spirit were just really bros. <laughs> and, um, and I remember Arnold coming over to the house and uh, just to be here and walk these grounds. Uh, I'm not really familiar with the campus. I've only come to the opening of the Chang Library and was never really, was not, have not gone inside yet. So I'm really looking forward to exploring it. Your music program here is renowned anyway, and um, we hear all about it in Downbeat Magazine and Jazz Times and on the West Coast, so to be able to put it all together and be here is very special for me. Um, I have uh, spent my life doing um, a genre of music that is just about as exploratory and esoteric as jazz is and underappreciated. <laughs> um, but one of the reasons I, for this project, um, Root Progressions, it's named for a, a jazz uh, method, a teaching method, um, is that I wanted to see, they are so closely aligned in their efforts to explore new sounds and, and just push the boundaries. And one of your graduates, Taishan Sori, has stated, you know, what's the difference really of what's so-called classical and what's so-called jazz? I mean, isn't it all music? And so that was what I wanted to explore with this project is what do so-called jazz composers do when they actually notate a piece for a classically trained pianist? And what we get is what we'll hear tonight. So the first piece is by John Jang, who's a San Francisco-based pianist. Um, I enjoy what he does with this piece in uh, melding sounds that he heard growing up, Chinese folk songs, and also the Chinese instruments, especially the, the guzheng, and then turning that into the basis for a big McCoy Tyner-esque jazz riff. So this is Ancestors and Sisters by John Jay. Thank you. 
there's a little bit of Messiaen in there, as for some of you might have recognized. John knows that I play a lot of Messiaen, the French composer, so he threw in a little bit of that towards the end. <laughs> 